She loved her work. She always talked about the joy of learning. She could show us, uh, you want to see a satellite tonight? Because she would know at what angle and what time we could see it. Wow. <laughs> they were all a part of that. For Catherine Moore and Joylette Heilig, Catherine Johnson, the famed NASA mathematician, immortalized in the movie Hidden Figures. Without this conversion, the capsule stays in orbit. We can't bring it back home. Was simply mom. It would seem to me having a mathematician for a mom would be my idea of a nightmare. And, and it sounds like your mom had you adding up the numbers on license plates. Uh, did you enjoy that? Was it, was it something that was fun? Sure, it was a challenge. You see, my father was also a science major, so we never heard math is hard. It was always fun. It was just another subject that they expected us to do well, because she said, if you expect nothing, <laughs> you get nothing. Johnson telling her life story in a new memoir titled, My Remarkable Journey. Born in 1918, she grew up on a farm in rural West Virginia, where she showed a knack for numbers early. When she was about four, she would sneak up to their little school to help her brother uh, because she could explain things that were not clear to him. She finished college at age 18 and in 1953 started at the organization that eventually became NASA, where the space race and race relations collided. She's a woman, but she's also a black woman in what was basically a white man's world. How did she deal with that? She said when she first walked into the office of NASA, there was a desk. And when she sat there, the man got up and walked out. And she said, oh, well, this is my desk. I'm going to work. And when they started seeing that she had answers to the questions they needed, no problem. Mom's fight was more intellectual in the sense that she wasn't ready to go fight, fight. And uh, instead, it was like, I'm out, thank you. Ignition, lift off. One person recognizing Johnson's abilities, astronaut John Glenn, who asked for her to double check the computer's math on the 1962 mission that made him the first American to orbit the Earth. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Her calculations also critical to the moon landing mission seven years later. That's one small step for man, one she said, if they do what my numbers tell them, they'll come back all right. But after a 33-year career at NASA, it wasn't until her 90s that the world would finally know her name. In 2015, Johnson receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Spielberg said to her, I've been reading a lot about you. She said, you have. Was it all right? And just two years later, she found herself among the stars again receiving a standing ovation at the Oscars. And she said, what's all the fuss about? We were just doing our job. Never bragging. There were people at her church for over 50 years that said, we never knew what your mother did. She never talked about herself. When you think about it, I mean, it still is, is to me mind boggling that this woman with her crew, without them, we're not on the moon. Do you guys think about that? People were asking us, why are we just now finding out about this? Well, it wasn't up to us. You know, it was up to the historians and the folks that make a difference in what you know and what you read. So that's when you say, hidden no more. My so goodness. good. Yes. Mm. Uh, by the way, Johnson wrote that she loved the movie, but they apparently took liberty with the one thing. She says she never ran out in the rain hmm. to find the colored restrooms. She said she just used the closet, ba the closest bathroom, because she had to work. Hmm. Again, her memoir, My Remarkable Journey, is out today. It's going to be a good read.